Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Bucket Coding and today I'm going to be teaching you all about command arguments and also I'm going to be showing you how to create uh, holograms in 1.8. Please note this does not work in uh, any version below than 1.8 as this uses armor stands. Uh, so yeah, set up your uh, your command like this in a separate, um, separate class file. We're going to be going a little bit uh, out of just using one class now. We are going to be creating this here. So you, uh, you make your uh, your episode 10 command or whatever you're calling your command. Make it implement command executor. Make this boolean here. Then go into your core and create. You can either uh, handle them directly in this in this here, or what you can do is create a method to uh, to handle everything. So all you have to do is pm dot register or no. All you have to do is. Uh, git command and then the name so episode 10 and then dot set executor new episode 10 command and you're good to go and if you want to register an event all you have to do is pm dot register events new or no this and the new and then uh, listener class and you now have uh, separate classes there so I'll just leave this uh, just you know for the purpose of the video now what you want to do is go back into here and make sure you have everything set up as is. Make sure you have your um, your instance of checker. So we want to say, okay, if the uh, if the user is not a player, we don't want to we we don't want them to be able to create holograms or anything. That'd be a little weird. Um, so yeah, you just do this here. Now all you have to do is say, okay, so if and then args uh, dot length. So if their length is less or is is zero. Then we want to return true, and we want to do p dot send message, and then do this, and uh, go ahead and actually uh, type in this here: chat color dot translate alternate color codes, and set it up like so. Put an and in there and a string here. Now you can just type this string freely or this character freely, and you will not have to use this sound fancy character sound there we muted. Go. this fancy character right here you will not have to use that guy anymore it'll auto auto convert and if it ever changes you will be uh, you'll be good to go so I'll probably forget to you know forget to do that in the future uh, but that's how it works so now we just want to say okay we're just gonna do that we're gonna say um, the command episode 10 requires arguments and yeah, so it requires arguments, so we're just, you know, gonna not do anything. Uh, normally you would put, like, uh, slash episode 10 space and then just the argument information. Uh, yeah, so first, before we do anything, we wanna say, okay, we're gonna create a private uh, void, or uh, create hologram, and it's now going to create our hologram. Now we wanna say, okay, location L and string uh, name. So location L, uh, import that from org.bucket.location. And now you just want to type in armor, armor stand, armor stand, um, am equals uh, armor stand. Hold on. Uh, let me actually go check um, my previous code really quickly. Just make sure I don't mess anything up here. Ah, all right, everyone. So I was on the right track. Now all you have to do is just do l.get location or no l dot get world dot spawn spawn uh, entity at location and I'm gonna say armor entity dot armor stand and you should be good to go so that's all you have to do to create your hologram there now you just want to do a dot am dot set set arms uh, probably you want this to be false am am dot set gravity false so we can make it a hologram am dot set uh, set visible false am dot set name or set custom name to be name and that is about it for uh, for your create hologram method one more thing you actually have to add I just double checked here you have to do set custom name visible and then true and now you're set to, or good to go with our your hologram method uh, now we want to go into our command system here I'm gonna say okay so now we're just gonna, you know, get all of our arguments. So we're gonna say uh, for, or no, we actually want to create a string, args uh, equals no. So it's just not gonna be anything. 
Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to say, okay, for int x, so we're making a basic loop here. Uh, for int x equals 0, x, uh, x2, and then our a dot length, that, and then x, x plus plus. And there you go. So you have our basic loop here. It'll loop through every single argument and it will collect them. Uh, oh, I've got a text. <laughs> Um, so it's gonna basically going to collect all of our arguments in this system. Well, it'll loop through all of our arguments. So for every single argument, it's going to perform this once. So now we want to say, okay, so a to x or ax um, dot, or what you could do is you could create like a string array or something. There, there's all sorts of ways to do this. Um, you could uh, like a, make a list of strings. You could do something like what I'm doing now, or you could do just, you know, Google it. <laughs> There's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, now you want to do args dot, uh, so let's see here. I don't know, args equals a, or x, or a, two, and then x. Uh, yeah, plus, okay. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna confirm on this. I apologize. I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So we actually want to reformat this this uh, part here. We want to say string args is equal to then just you know just our double quotes. Make our loop here, and then we want to say string temp. Oh, whoops. Uh, string temp equals and then a x. So we're gonna get the uh, the thing there plus a space, and then we're gonna say this up here. Our arguments are gonna be args plus and then temp so it'll just loop through it'll keep adding uh, our arguments there and that's our basic basic builder now I believe we can skip arguments by adding one here so that means we're gonna skip the first that means second third and etc so let's keep it at zero for this purpose of the tutorial and then we want to do create hologram at and then p dot get location comma and then we want to say args and we have now created a hologram we can send the player a message in some way so send send message, and then we can copy this up here just to save us some time. We're gonna do this, and we can say uh, something like created hologram with the name, and then percent name percent at percent x comma percent y uh, percent z, and there we go. So that's our our thing here. Uh, let's actually put a space back over here, and then we can do uh, over here. We can say dot replace all percent. Uh, we're gonna say uh, percent name percent with um, with this guy, and then we can do another replace all on top of that, I believe. Um, so we can say args args dot and then replace all again string and then that so we can just do we can do this all over and over and over uh, percent x percent with uh, and then p dot get location dot get x so it's gonna be a double um, let me see I've done this in the past I know it'll work so don't worry <laughs> get um, get block it's get block x plus plus and then that just so just so it'll work we can do that and then we just do the exact same thing over for um for our y so we'll just copy that over uh, get block y we'll replace um, all the percent okay hold on <laughs> this is a little bit messy so we're gonna do that we're gonna pr replace y with that and we're gonna say all right, we'll do one final replace with percent %z with get block z. And then, yeah, so it'll basically loop through our message, check wherever there is a percent %x, a percent %y, a percent %z, and a percent %name. Um, yeah, so, it, so that means we don't have to put, like, annoying pluses everywhere. Um, yeah, now we actually want to do, what we want to do is we want to do... Um, args dot and then replace uh, and then and or and or actually no we can just do our chat color method here again so we need to chat chat color dot translate alternate color codes you know the thing uh, and then and 
oh no, not seven, and, and then comma, args. And boom, we now created our hologram with our custom colors, and that's also how you use command arguments, you know, build some strings, and it's pretty fancy, and I'm moving around in the chair if you're wondering why the voice was, you know, moving around <laughs> a little bit. Uh, yeah, so that is our method. I'm going to go ahead and uh, go into the game and create a test hologram for everyone. Please note this will not be actually, won't be visible as a hologram or I um, an armor stand. It'll be visible as a hologram. People won't even know there is um, a, like an armor stand there uh, unless you have the bug with them that is pretty fixable with an event. Just Google it. Um, it's a player armor stand manipulate event, I believe. Just set that to canceled if um, if something I don't know. I'll put I'll put put a link in a thread to in or I'll put a a link of code in the description where you know you can see what I'm talking about because I'm probably confusing a lot of people right now. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna you know I'm gonna go test this. Be right back, everyone. All right, everyone. So I have went ahead and tested my hologram system that I've made for everyone here. Go ahead and stand anywhere created with like and. C and L such swag uh, and then and like blue capital letters or something like that uh, very wow boom and you can see it creates our colors it actually you know has a bug here but I can fix that that's just a simple chat thing you can see such swag very well wow. that's my new name everyone I'm such swag very wow <laughs> so I don't know when this video is actually gonna go up uh, I feel like it's going to go up Monday, the 25th, because, and I don't think I've talked about this, I'll probably do an update video before this, so, you know, the update video that you probably saw before today, or maybe yesterday, um, that I put up on my channel, that video is going to be recorded after this guy. This guy is just, you know, a preparation video for my trip to Hawaii. Uh, I'm not going to say what island I'm going to until after I'm gone, <laughs> most likely. Uh, I don't know about that. I probably... Uh, we'll say where I am, you know, occasionally. Uh, but I don't want to make my presence too big, you know. That'd be a little a little awkward. Uh, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Such swag very well. <laughs> you can see it was my test hologram over there. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Uh, but yeah, make sure to leave a rating if you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave your comments or suggestions down below for what I should do in the next, uh, next, not next coding, but whenever I get back that, that coding video. And yeah, I have some cool, cool things planned for, for the bucket curtain. Uh, yeah, keep in mind that my, um, what's it called? I'm not taking suggestions for a few more episodes on this just because I'm going to be in Hawaii and you know, that's a little, a little awkward, you know? <laughs> so Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Minecraft Buggy Coding. Make sure to leave a rating if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that big subscribe button on the lower, uh, lower part of the uh, the video box. I'll see you guys all again next time. Take care.